Hello, this is the first of two planned videos taking a look at what's new in Beaver Thema version 1.1, which as I'm recording this is presently in its alpha version. If I go over to the Beaver Builder change log and head down to the Beaver Thema section, you'll see that it's presently on alpha version two. But a really exciting thing about this upcoming release is that they've added integrations with two very popular WordPress plugins. The first being the events calendar plugin, which is what I'm looking at in this video. And also, which I'll be looking at in the next video, easy digital downloads. Now, I will say here that this is the first time I've used the Advanced Calendar plugin, but it seemed pretty easy to use and really powerful with Thema. So it's the one that I'm going to be using in the future. But if I've misunderstood anything, please understand this is the first time I'm trying it out. And this video really was prompted by Nancy Hildebrand or Hildebrett. I'm not quite sure how you say her surname because it's a, a German spelling, but she's a, a very lovely American woman uh, who works for the Beaver Builder team and updates their knowledge base and writes articles for them. And as you can see, she's added some knowledge base articles for both events calendar integration and also for easy digital downloads. So this normally should be the place that you would go to to work out how to use this. But of course, I just dived in straight away as I do and it seemed to work out pretty well for me. But she did ask me earlier whether I had a live demo for the new alpha version and at the time I didn't. So what I have done is I've taken my existing Beaver Thema live demo over at thema.beaverjunction.com and I've added in the alpha version as it didn't break anything that I've already set up and now it's allowed me to add in the events calendar plugin. Now, I have in this case added Events Calendar Pro version for this. And the main reason was that I wanted to just set up one event and have it reoccur, which you can't do with the free version. And the best way I can probably explain that is to just go over to their own landing page for the pro version. So you can see the difference between the free version and the pro version. Now, the, the free version is pretty good as it is. It's just the pro's got a few extras. And here's the ones that I've used on this site. So the first one is the recurring events here. So I wanted to set up one event and have it go each week. So when you log into my demo, there's always an event there for you to see. And also just to test the integration with Thema because it is also integrated with the pro version. I also use this. I set up a template with the venue and the organizer as well of that event. So I can show you those as well. OK, so let me just head back here first and let me go into events here. Now, this plugin really, like many plugins, it works really just as a custom post type. So it's got its own archive pages and it's got its own single pages. And what Beaver Thema can do is to style those independently without having to create PHP templates. That's the, the main power of it. And I can show you here, let's, we're starting here now with the archive page, which can be shown as different types of views. So it's presently on the month view here. But as you can see here, we can also have it in a list view, which looks much more like a sort of standard blog archive page with all of them listed. And we can show it by week. And I think day map and photo views are something that just come with the pro version. But if you don't want somebody to be able to select between all of these, you can just decide which one you're going to have by going over to the settings. Let's just go into the event settings. And if we go to display here, you can see I've got them all turned on. But if I just left it with the month view just ticked on there, that's all I would see. And my drop down here would just disappear. So let's just go in. As I say, I've already set up the templates and actually maybe before I go on, I'll just show you the templates I have set up. So here and uh, builder and theme layouts, I've already added some just for the events calendar. So I've got my events calendar here, which is the archive page we were just looking at. I've also added my single event, which is for the actual post page, if you like the single post. And 
I've also added to test out, as I was mentioning earlier, the pro templates as well. I've added an organizer, an event, and given them a template as well. So these are the pro things that are in here that you wouldn't get under the free version. Okay, let's just go back and we'll go and go into the page builder. And as you can see, my events calendar archive page. And I'll open this up and we can look at how this is put together with Thema. So this is context aware. So once I'm in an archive page here, we can see under the events calendar modules here, we've got just these two here. We can have the calendar, which is this one on the top here. And there's not much you can do with this. It's pretty much its display. You can just alter from this, the foreground and background colors. So this gray, I think it's this gray. And um, this foreground color, I think it's giving you the color of the text here. So if I was to change that, that would change. And also error notices can change, but that's pretty much all that you can do here. But maybe you don't want to show your events in this way and you want to show them more like a list view or to put them into grids, which I don't think you can do by default with the events calendar plugin, but you can do it with the Beaver Thema. And if I just go in here, you'll see that I've dragged in also the posts. And this is just the same as the Beaver Thema normal post module here. We can set these up into different columns or display them as galleries. We can decide whether we're going to show images or not images and what are the context there. We, we can have in three columns here, we can choose to have uh, how many pages, how many posts on the pages or how many events in this case. And we can show it like this. Now, as you're looking here, you can only see one, but this I think this might be a little quirk of the alpha version because actually when you when I show you this page properly, it will actually show six of those because I've got this Beaver Thema party event reoccurring and it shows all six there as I've said them. So you here you can do a lot more with it in terms of reviews and and as before as I've covered in other videos here, you don't have to go with these sort of defaults. You can go in and start customizing the whole layout of those and start using doing pretty much everything you like with it and using field connectors that way. Okay, I think that's all I can say on this. This is something for you to experiment with. Let's just save this. And then I'll go and take a quick look at the single page now. So let's just go to one of the events. Here it is. This is what you get from the plugin. Let's just go and click through to the single event. Now, of course, this isn't pretty. And what's on this page is pretty much what's in the free. This is this is a pro edition, which gives you a countdown to the next event. Obviously, it's not something that's needed, but I think everything else on this page is something that's uh, included in the free version, except here I've put a link through to find out more about the venue. But let's just go and have a quick look at my single event here so we can look at what theme is doing. As you can see, I can kind of lay these out. As, as I say, this is context aware. On the single pages, we've got a lot more things that we can add in here. So here, it'll just be easier to just say I'm using the events details. So that's pulling in the information that's set in the post page itself or the events page itself. And here I've got the venue, which is also included in there. And also the general sort of information, the description that's in there. All of this is added to the front. Also, the map has been added here. I did need to add a Google API key to do that. And as you can see here, this is a thing that allows you to add this event to a Google Calendar. And that's just, a, again, another module here. The one other thing on this page here, which I added with a field connector, was the link to this particular venue. So this is a venue page. Again, it's something on the pro version. So let me just come out of this because I think you can pretty much understand how to arrange all of this with Beaver Builder if you're a Beaver Builder user. I'll just click on this just to show you this has got its own template. So I just created this one pretty rubbish, but it was just something I knocked up. And as you can see, if I'm over here, there we are. I've got a venue singular here as well. Okay, and what else have we got? We've got the organizer somewhere. Where's the organizer? There. That's me. So I created, again, another template 
with Thema for Organizer. So I can apply this as it works with Beaver Thema. Generally, I can decide to have this same template apply to whatever organizers or venue users I want. And I can connect things up with fields as well, or I can set them individually, if you like, for particular organizer or groups of organizers. Okay, so I, I think this is probably the best I can do in terms of an overview. Maybe one thing I should just take a quick look at, because it might be of interest to you, is to actually look at the back end of this event. So we are in an event. Let me just make sure I'm in the right place because I'm in the layouts here. Let me go to the event. All right, as you can see here, there's all the events listed as they should be, as mentioned earlier. Let's click through to here and let's go and edit the event so you can see what is in the back end. As you can see, this is the recurring thing. That's a pro thing. So if I was to update one of these and keep them connected, they would update all of these in one go. But this is what you see in the back end. This was the description for the event. This is where you set the calendar for it and where you can repeat as I've done weekly here. Um, this is where you can put the featured image as I used as the background and I can set here the venue and the organizer here on this pro version. And that's pretty much what it looks like. I hope this is useful. The best thing I can suggest is that you go and look over at Nancy's articles over here or you just come in to my site and just start messing around and i think it will become pretty clear but it took me literally about 10 minutes to just knock up these sort of templates using beaver thema so it's absolutely fantastic i'm really looking forward to this coming out and getting a project where i can try it out anyway that's me hope to see you quite soon i'm traveling at the moment so it might take a little bit of time for me to get around to the easy digital downloads one i've also got some interviews recorded apologies to all those people i will get those out eventually just bear with me. Anyway, that's me, David Wormsley. Goodbye.